We have a global pandemic on a proportion that we've never seen before. We're in a race against time here. Thousands of people are dying every single day. Vaccines are one of the most important tools to help us get ultimate control over this pandemic. The problem is that's gonna take a long time and we need tools to help limit the impact of this virus. That means early treatments, early treatments that help avoid long-term complications, reduce death, and help us control this outbreak. It's really important that we look first at the drugs that are sitting on the shelf that are already approved because that's the fastest, safest, and lowest cost way to address this virus. I formed the COVID Early Treatment Fund with a single goal. Can we find an existing drug that can reduce the fatality and hospitalization rates by 75% or more? Viruses replicate exponentially, so what we really need to do is treat them as soon as possible to prevent this explosive growth of the virus. After talking to infectious disease experts all over the country, what I found was that we're spending millions and billions of dollars everywhere else except on testing these drugs that the scientists have identified as the most promising cures. I was fortunate to be able to assemble a group of leading experts in infectious disease uh, from Harvard, Johns Hopkins, the University of Virginia, Northwestern, and a number of other top academics who had experience in drug development, vaccines, and, and clinical trials, and then other experts on coronavirus, experts on respiratory disease. Together, this group is reviewing proposals for repurposing drugs that could be used in treatment of this infection. We quickly weed out the ones that don't have scientific merit. The ones that do, we'll spend about 25 man hours reviewing those grants and then going back and forth with the scientists to make sure that the grant actually delivers on what the promise is. And then once that grant is approved, then it can be funded within a matter of days. And the idea is to get the money to the investigators so that they can test these drugs as quickly as possible. We can't just rely on the government to solve this problem for us. Today, there are zero approved treatments for COVID. We can either sit back and watch the death toll continue to rise every single month, or we can take action. The most cost-effective action that gets the results the soonest is to donate to the COVID Early Treatment Fund. Every dollar spent supporting CETF provides research that might be useful in saving your life or someone else's.